Let them dislike you. Hi ladies. So when I was a teen, I would work every summer in between terms at uni. On my first day, we had to choose somebody to go and sit next to so we could learn. And I chose to sit next to a girl called Dolly and she hated me. But being the people pleaser that I was, I thought that I could change her mind. I couldn't. She spread rumors, made me feel uncomfortable and was just all round awful. I say all that to say that sometimes we willingly choose the hard option as if life was meant to be played on hard mode. Some of us are addicted to hardship because why didn't I just choose to sit next to someone else? Someone that was welcoming. Why did one person not liking me make me feel like I had to prove I was nice? Ladies, I want you to pay attention to your behavior and start asking yourself why you do certain things. Why you chose to have that for breakfast. Why you chose to drive that way and walk that way. Why you chose to wear that thing. Why you chose to be with that person. Why your friends are your friends. This is important inventory. It will tell you who you really are and help you to understand whether you're operating on autopilot. Get intentional about your life. Because once I started to ask myself those types of questions, my life changed drastically. I realized that I've been operating in scarcity, fear, shame, and an innate feeling of unworthiness. Once you do the shadow work and get rid of all that stuff, who likes you and who doesn't won't even enter your mind. You'll just pay attention to how things make you feel. That's not to say that you'll become selfish and you won't care about other people's feelings. Not at all. But you won't go out of your way to make sure people know that you're nice. You know that you're nice. That's enough. Not everyone's gonna like us. Hell, you don't even like everybody. And that's okay. As long as you're not hurting anyone and they're not hurting you, just let it be that. Don't be a slow learner.